Do we have all the graduates up here on the stage? Are they here? Yeah. Woo! Lots of people here tonight. Very exciting evening. I want to welcome everybody here. And thank you for coming to share in this celebration and this fabulous accomplishment for these people up here on the stage with me. My name is Kathy Gothier. I'm executive director of Irene's Myomassology Institute. Proud to say that Irene was my mom for my entire life. <laughs> and we're here in thanks to her. I mean, obviously none of us would be here if it weren't for her, but the amount of um, impact that she had on the world, let alone the massage profession, is unimaginable. I can't even begin to fathom how many thousands of lives, tens of thousands if you think of the people that she taught massage to, and then they went out and massaged their own clients. So she's had quite an impact on the world. Um, so I want to, again, thank the families and friends for being here, and I do really want to extend a special thank you to you for providing your support to these students, to your families and loved ones, family members and loved ones, um, because we're well aware that this is a very rigorous program. It's very demanding on their time, and there's probably many instances where you would have liked them to stay home for dinner or spent the weekend with you, and instead they were running out the door to go to school, and you guys were picking up the slack. So on behalf of these people, I want to thank all of you. And again, I want to reinforce um, the the concept of how very demanding the program can be. Um, there was lots of amazing experiences in your classes, lots of smiles and lots of tears and frustrations, and you persevered. So really, you should give yourselves a lot of credit, and I want to congratulate you on your fabulous accomplishment. Um, well, I have several people I would like to introduce because tonight we actually have two groups of students graduating. We have our full-time May class as well as our accelerated group together. So it's nice to have um, such a large group. But in, so, in saying that, we also have a lot of teachers that are sitting all right there and, I wanna, and staff. I want to introduce them to you. Um, on Monday and Friday afternoons, we had Randy Fillion, who's up here, Catherine Bath, and Carrie Berg, and you'll see in the back. Yay! <laughs> Monday evening, we had the ever-brilliant Brian Piccolo and oh-so-special Hilda Seavers. And Tuesday morning, always a great class with Randy up here again, and Sharon Norman Widmer. Thursday morning with Janet Schrock and Sharon Norman Widmer again. Our lecture instructors, I'll read them off for you. In anatomy, we had Sharon Norman Widmer and Jeanette Roach. Our professional development uh, business teacher, Kathy Peltier. Pathology, Sharon Norman Widmer and or Rob Kelly. And imagine that, physiology, Sharon Norman Widmer and Jennifer Bellawhite. <laughs> Maybe we need to change the name of the school to Sharon's Myomassology Institute. <laughs> uh, applied Myomassology, Jeanette Roach, Diane Urquhart, and Rob Kelly. Very important person that keeps the clinic running, my clinic manager, Barbara Gay. And 
and everybody's had Larissa Ciceric for at least one class, ethics and shiatsu and reflexology, so Larissa Ciceric as well. In each, each of the hands-on classes, we have a very special group of um, people called apprentices. And an apprentice is somebody that's gone through the program and graduated, and they enjoy their time at Irene so much that they want to, they don't want to leave, basically. So they volunteer their time for every single hands-on class, and they come in and they provide support for the students. They also act as assistants for the teachers, so I want to, I'm going to read off their names to um, acknowledge their assistance, and then Megan, my, my assistant, actually has gifts for all of the apprentices um, that we will, she will give you after the ceremony's over. Uh, Maria Andragna, Susan Bat, Sharon Bass, Susan Brandon, Chris Clark, Amanda Collard, Bobby Gartley, Jacob Gearing, Rob Gorman, Susan Gwynn, Pam Kerr, Tammy Logan, Sarah Mark, Daniel Miller, Bev Noah, Kathy Obstinick, Sarkis Solomon, and Linda Turner. I apologize if I butchered your name. Thank you. I look confident standing up here, but I get all nervous and I mispronounce things and, well, whatever. I'm doing my best. You'll forgive me, right? Thank you. Um, so, on the first day of school, I set a challenge for the students and I tell them that for the people that have the best attendance record, they get a prize at graduation. And every, at graduation, every time, there's always more and more people getting this prize. And it's not just the best record, but it's literally the people that have perfect attendance records. So, good to my word, I have prizes for all of you. I'd like to ask Michael Rice to come up and he'll read your names and I'll give your um, prize to you. Good evening, everyone. Perfect attendance starts with Jamie Bergren. Justin Brown. Sand Brown. Lashani Clark. Naomi Corridon. Heather Cutlip. <laughs> Melissa Davies. Deborah Davis. Quintus Dowell. Yeah. <laughs> Tina Foreign. <laughs> Georgia Fournier. <laughs> Karen Goff. Kelly Gleckner. <laughs> Elizabeth Kowalik. <laughs> Isabel Lorraine. Melanie McCabe. <laughs> Lanika McCrary. <laughs> Shannon Quinlan. <laughs> Donna Rector. Uh, Barbara Rezegui. <laughs> Mary, 
Mary Beth Salada. Susan Salah. <laughs> Charles Thomas. And Charlene Wark. Congratulations. As Kathy said, this is a huge task. So thank you and congratulations. The program's demanding to begin with, but for them to make it to every single class really is a great accomplishment. And the funny thing is, it's a little ironic, is every time I've ever done this at graduation, there's always at least one, sometimes even two people that aren't here for graduation. They have perfect attendance all year. But this is the first time we've had perfect attendance for perfect attendance, so even better. <laughs> so, this is one of the first of a few graduations now that we've had without my mom present. And, um, very emotional, obviously, for me, but I think for a lot of people here in the room that are used to having Irene physically here, but I do firmly believe that she's here in spirit. And she always had a really nice speech that she had created many, many years ago that she read at graduation. So I have asked Michael Rice to please share that with you. He's much more eloquent at speaking than I am. So he's gonna read that for you. And then we'll be doing the graduation ceremony following that. And the way we do the graduation is, you'll hear your name called, and then if you would mind, wouldn't mind please coming forward, I will, um, well first Randy is going to anoint you in my mom's um, graduation anointment was always seek the truth, speak the truth, and serve your fellow man with love and compassion. So it's a very beautiful sentiment. And he'll be anointing you, and I will give you your diploma and your alumni, Irene's alumni herb tea mug, okay? <laughs> so, and I don't want to break that, so I'm going to put it there. So I'm going to step aside and ask Michael to come forward. Well, good evening again. Um, before I read this, I would just add as an alumni and um, someone who's very proud of my work at the school, at the Institute, um, a warm congratulations to our newest almost graduates. And, <clears throat> you know, Irene touched so many, as Kathy said, and I'm about to read the speech that she read every year to all of the graduates. And the message that she gave to all of us along the way, in some way, shape, or form, comes from what's often quoted as, follow your bliss. And we've heard that term in our lives, and people who are before you tonight and the families in front of us really, I think, support that ideal in a very rough world at times. Because it is hard to step off and take on a career and a study and an approach to living that really is significant by its very instincts, which is to help other people. So to them and to Irene, we say deep thank yous and deep gratitude. So this is the speech as it is written. Greetings. This is a very exciting day for the graduates. This day is a new beginning. You are now able to teach others to respect the temple they live in. You can go out and show them how to care for themselves. Steer away from negative thoughts and keep positive. Say to yourself, I am worthy of good things. I am ready for success. Good health will come to me, my family, and my clients. During their education, the support of the students' families provided the soil for the students to grow. 
Thank you for your support and patience. The teachers provided the fertilizer so the students' roots could grow deeply for a strong foundation to build their skills. The office staff provided sunshine that helped the students flourish. Remember the first techniques you tried, struggled with, practiced and practiced, and finally perfected. Always use your skills with love and compassion. The smiles of your education were sometimes mixed with tears and frustration. Some of you encountered obstacles, but overcame them. The challenges you experienced were part of your learning process. Every bump in the road made you wiser and stronger. You are now prepared to face adversity in the future. So now, please join hands. Please, join hands. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. Begin to relax. Visualize the energy of our universe flowing through you. Let that wonderful energy within you begin to spread to everyone in this room, healing the room. Now see the energy spreading through the neighborhood, across our state, circling the planet with this healing energy. Bring peace on Earth. You may now slowly open your eyes and let go of each other's hands. Peace and love to you all. I am very proud of you. Thank you. To Irene. Now, it is my pleasure uh, to invite Randy Fillion to join me. It's Kathy and Kathy. Now, as Kathy uh, described, this is a tradition that has been as long as the schools has, has existed. Um, and in it, Randy's hand, he has a small vial of rose oil. And when you come to him, as was the tradition, Irene would take just a touch of it through the third eye, the throat, and each wrist, saying, always seek the truth, speak the truth, and serve your fellow man with love and compassion. And I will also be handling Kathy, as she said, the diploma and the mug. So there is a photo opportunity that we do encourage families to come get. After the ceremony, you're welcome to do it again, but feel free, come right to the rail. We're in alphabetical order. So we'll begin, okay? We'll begin on this side. So wait till your names are called and we'll ask you to come right on up. Okay. Lisa Elizabeth Adkins. Congratulations. Well done. <laughs> David Bocha. Jamie Michael Berger.
Michelle M. Brenner. <laughs> Justin Brown. Sand Brown. Lashane Clark. Naomi Beth Corridon. Serafina Kusumano. Melissa M. Davies. Davis. Sarah Irene DeLuca. Jardine.
Nicole J. Dieters. Quintus A. Dowell. Kendra Lynn Connell Duncan. Jacqueline Jackson Elser. M. Ford. Georgia Lee Fournier. Aaron Naki. Jasmine Grayson.
Patty D. Greibel. Tamara Grove. Whitney Victoria Guspa. Naya Healy. Robin J. Hoffmeyer. Angela R. Hunter. Carolyn Marie Irish. Kelly Kleckner. Elizabeth A. Kowalik.
Angela Constance Labadee. Isabel Lorraine. Christina Lewis. Lisa Murray Makala. Justin Main. Cindy Maserio. <laughs> Jessica L. Martin. Melanie McKay. <laughs> Lanika Diana McCreary. Jacqueline McGee.
Claire A. Meta. Bridget L. Michael. Ryan J. Miller. Laura A. Montalto. Jessica Shuba Murthy. Doreen Nettles. Elizabeth Parr. Quindlin A. Perkins. Shannon Suzanne Quinlan.
Joe Ramirez. Gail Rep. Katrina May Raymond. Donna Lynn Rector. Connie R. Reed. Barbara Riziki. Robert L. Rosinski. Kelly Rowan. Angela Marie Russo. Mary Beth Salada.
Susan Salah. Michael T. Santos. Monica Lorraine Schultz. Edmund Lee Shaw. Artemisia Simpson. Megan Maureen Sullivan. Chuck Thomas.
Charlene L. Wark. Dawn Lynn Webb. <laughs> Rachel Megan Williams. David Winters. Cameron M. Woji. mugs and that concludes the formal side of this evening's graduation at this time we'd like to have all of our graduates please stand up take a bow to extend a couple invitations. We formally started a alumni association. So it's, if you sign up through the internet, you'll get invited to free continuing education classes. And when licensing comes up, we'll assist you with doing all of that. So please join that. It's on Meetup. And you can get that through um, our emails that we send out. We have punch and organic cookies. I swear they're really good. <laughs> I already had three. Um, outside in the lobby, the teachers and the staff are all going to be out there, so I want you to go out and mingle and enjoy the rest of the evening. And I do want to um, say thank you to my staff. They work very, very hard to get all this stuff, working behind the scenes and in the offices, um, to get all this stuff done so that you guys can go to school each day. So thank you to them, and thank you for being here. Thank you. There's a, um, a little screen with a projector set up out there. It'll be playing uh, the song that I had written for my mom. I, hired a musician and he composed that for her 90th birthday celebration last year. And my nephew, Chad, Irene's grandson, has made a slideshow of Irene throughout different stages of her life that goes along with the song. So that'll be playing out in the lobby as well. So you guys go have fun. Thank you. Thank you.